calling you a radical. We're on the great river here, the Danube, here in Vienna. And I want to do this video in honor of my great friend, our great friend, one of the greatest anti-nuclear activists in world history, Igor passed away. He died in a car wreck yesterday. You, I mean, the irony, he was an incredible man, incredible activist, the work that he did to show the world the catastrophe of Chernobyl. Without him, we would have never known. We would have never known without him. He passed. He fought these monsters right here. And, you know, I like to say it, as far as the anti-nuclear movement goes, it's all arrogance. It's nothing but arrogance. These are the most arrogant monsters in the history of mankind. When we're all gone, I don't care if these monsters wipe out all of humanity, this river's still going to be here. These clouds are still going to be here. They're going to be here. That's the IEA here. I'm with some great activists from Austria. I've got to meet, you know, I've learned so much about the Austrian dynamic. A lot of people in America don't know this story. One woman, one reactor in Austria, all the ready, ready to be fueled. The week it's ready to be fueled. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So the Austrians are the few people in the world that have stood up. Maybe the only ones in the world that have stood up. You know, and we know Beethoven was German, but he spent time here. You know, Freud. There's a great plaque on the wall over here about Freud. Freud got it. These control freaks are out of control. I mean, I think it's an irony. He lived right there underneath where they were. So I'll get to go in the reactor tomorrow, and I'll shoot a video inside the reactor. And I, she's still alive and well. I hopefully she'll be with us. And I'm gonna get to meet with the great German activist. That what's that great line that Canadian wrote? No changes are permanent. So you, the Germans, they can't quit fighting. You know, it's the only victory we've had. So we have to hang on to the victory. I mean, it's a big deal. But from little teeny, we rub sticks. Isn't that what we do as activists? We rub sticks. I walk up the Pacific, we rub sticks. We rub sticks, we can't get a flame. We rub sticks, we rub sticks, we can't get a flame. We can't get a flame. Then all of a sudden we get a spark. The victory in Austria is the spark. The victory in Australia, Kylie and that great Africa is pushing. They are not going to expand the uranium mines. We have the truth on our side. We have the economics on our side. We have the passion on our side. We have the art on our side. And that's all we need. So we've rubbed the sticks. We've had a little spark in Austria. That reactor did not go online. The week that it was fueled, it did not go online. The Germans, those reactors, were, they didn't go online. They went online every place else. In China, they're backing out. In Vienna, in Taiwan, activists being killed. In India, 82 professors of anti-nuclear nuclear physics have been murdered with their families they still fight on. So we don't hear these stories in the Western world because the Pravada, Pravada, TAS, the state-run mouthpiece, Grubel, Google, which is NBC, Reuters, BBC, are the new Grubel. Right here. No changes are permanent. Right here, Freud. These Freudian fucks, these overcompensation bitches, shit. That's what they are. They're evil. They're sick. But we have to hang our hats on what victories we have. So to Igor, we won't ever forget you. We love you. And think about his genre as the anti-nuclear abs. And I will say this in the honor of the great uh, Annika, who died from leukemia in 1999. That's her. That's her who ripped her clothes off. And she went in there with the nuclear logo right there. And she stands there naked. She was one great activist. Now, I know Naughty was arrested yesterday. She's come out of hiding, Pussy Riot. We need you, girl. You know, I, you know, the whole movement was hijacked. You stood in line with Hillary, but we need you. We need you. It's a whole different dynamic here in Austria. 
They're incredible activists. They're salt of the earth and they're grounded and they get it. We don't get to see it in the West, in the United States. We don't get to see it. So we fight on and there are some great activists over here and they're socially conscious. They want no part of these fuckers, no part. You know, just because they're based here. I can get into that whole dynamic, tell her. You know, that whole thing, we split up, didn't share the bomb, Stalin. Yalta by the sea. That was 70 years ago right now, Yalta by the sea. You know, we get in, I can really dive into why that monster's here, and the funding, and they hijacked the UN with the Atlantic Conference, no royals, no royals. Boom, Ferdinand, with a gun from my town. Think about how fast that happened in 1914 in your head. It's going to happen again. Stay on tuning.